Alright guys, so we're at the end of our video, just waiting for that one last person um, to reach 250 population and that's what it's been about. About my welfare, I have 79% welfare which is also good for um, increasing the population. So let's wait and now, yes. So guys, that's what it's about. We finally reached 250 population and today I am going to show you how I reached this massive population, how I made this massive base, where I found it. Just um, a quick walkthrough over all the um, eras and ages from the Paleolithic to Mesolithic to the Iron Age. Just a quick walkthrough over all the problems I had, all the flaws and how you can tackle all those and I hope you enjoy the video until the end. So where I found my place was this. This uh, you can find it in the fork, river fork, and I followed down this river. Um, I basically scanned the map to find a good place, and what I found was this flat land. Okay, so I thought of going from this side, but the water was too far away. So I followed on this huge land. I was impressed. So I finally landed on this pond and you can see I set up my tents here. This is the Paleolithic era. I have unlocked the bone tools, the composite tools and the food dryer. Um, the raiders don't do much of a problem right now. Uh, the problem is just hunting and I have less tools for hunting but I will eventually get some more tools because this is just the Paleolithic. So I've set up my tents, I've set up my skull pole to boost my people morale. I have food dryers, I have the storage tents. Basically the work, uh, the working area could be here and the living area on the right side. Just a, uh, you know, storage on this side. I have my sticks collected from this area, my stones collected from here and my fish is fished from here. So I, I, I don't have the necessary tools to expand my base right now. I will in the future but what I'm facing problem is the um, workload. Um, it's, I don't know, it, it just shows the workload is high and that's one thing I've got to fix. And there's not much in the beginning of the Paleolithic, so let's just move on to the Mesolithic. So this is the Mesolithic era and winter has passed. Um, my people have hunted right now. I've come, I came from hunting. Uh, the, the best hunting places in this area is this one. This place beside the pond this is a good place for hunting. This one is also a good place for hunting. And last but not least, this area because hunt, uh, animals always come down here and drink water from this pond, this side of the pond. And you can. So uh, in the Mesolithic era, I've unlocked basically everything. What left is the uh, spirituality and the post processing. So basically, what grain and post processing means, um, you can harvest uh, wild plants. Like this, yeah, this one is a good one. Uh, if I have the pulse processing, I can harvest it in summer. Uh, so I now have the mortars to make flour and then convert them into bread. Um, I have enough meat. I hunted right now, so I have enough meat and uh, I've set up more tents. Now I have 33 capacity and the storages are going good. My resources are good and my wood, you can see my wood, you can see my flint. These are all in a good position, good numbers. But what the problem is right now is the workload. And it's, I don't know, it just shows every time the workload is high. And it can't make my people rest, they need to work. I don't know how, how to decrease my workload, but rather than that, everything is important. So let's move on. So guys, this is the Neolithic era, and this is where the challenge begin. And I've unlocked Thatching, I have unlocked well digging, fortifications, and civil domestication. Civil domestication is very important. Um, farming, uh, you know, you can feed your people very easily, but uh, the workload during harvesting and planting time, the workload becomes like this. And this is something, this, the workload is something I can't even, I don't know how to decrease it. That's something I, I, you know, get over with. So, so, what I've got is I've got my tents upgraded to uh, huts. And you can see I've also set up another group of hot tents here. I'll, I'll basically upgrade them later. And my workload is high. Never mind. I have got the working side here, and this basically looks like a tree, you know. So what now I have is um, 
I have deception and I have fortification, so. So what now I have, oh, later attack. You three are the best. Defeat is 38. Yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, the raiders basically come from the southwest and east and the southeast, probably, yes. Uh, so that's why I put a palisade on this side, uh, on the side where the raiders arrive, and I put the stone circle here. Uh, that's to boost up my people's morale. I've got a dolmen, I've got a burial now. So, so now we're at the end of Copper Age, and I still can't get a hold of this workload. But yeah, you can see a huge difference after the Neolithic Age. I've upgraded my tents to huts. My, I have got stables, I've got animals, uh, pigs sheep, cattle, goats, only one cattle, um, I've got stables here too, I've got uh, like a civilization right here, you can see my weavers here, you can see my outfitters here, you can see my workshops and metalsmiths right here, so you can see I've also expanded my base up to this side because I needed a lot of farming lands to feed my people, you can see still the food is not that much. I've also set up pear trees, cherries, chestnuts, etc, etc, and what else, let me show you the skill tree, what I have is, I have the copper smelting, I have the fruit tree, this already showed you, I have the cattle domestication and the donkey, so I need the wheel now because I can attach my donkey, horses and cattle to the wheels and uh, they can make carts, I mean I can attach them to carts, uh, the carts carry a huge number of weight, you can see I have my copper mines here uh, this area is filled with uh, metals this area is filled with iron copper tin this is a great area to start uh, the copper uh, copper here uh, copper here oh it's the flint okay I've got tin here too I'll probably go for tin mine later on also I have the charcoal pits which require logs and logs I have 153 logs. You gotta constantly change your work areas for logs and sticks. And when you um, upgrade your palisades to rock walls, mansion reaming, you gotta change your workplaces for rocks because rocks they don't um, they don't grow again. They just deplete. So that's what it is in the um, basically the end of Copper Age. I still got unlocked rye domestication. I don't think rice that much needed here. But let's move on to the Bronze Age now. So guys, this is now the Bronze Age and I have upgraded most of my equipment right here. You can see the masonry, you can see the uh, roundhouses I've upgraded from, uh, I've upgraded my huts to roundhouses. You can see I've upgraded my storage huts to warehouse. And what else? I've got some veneers here. I've got um, another layer of defense right here by the, I've got the God Towers and I've also got my stone circle ready, I didn't show you that in the last one, but you see I've expanded my base uh, a little more, not that much because I wanted to get a hold of my uh, workload, you can see it's coming a little bit down, you see it's harvesting, uh, it's just planting time, and that's why it's a little high, or else it stays up from 140 to 150, and it's not, it's not very high, that's high. So I've got another group of uh, tents down here so that my people are can easily access my farms. Uh, the one thing you need to take care about is your attachments and transport. You see I have only 8 sledge and 7 cart. According to my population I should have more. So that's something you should notice. Uh, you should have more plows for your, your people to plant faster. Because if they plant at the end of the season they'll have less time to harvest at the end. Uh, when at the harvesting season they'll have less time and if they don't have good sickles they'll take more time and if they can't harvest in time the plants the crops will go just they just vanish you know same for the plants here and what happens in wolf attacks are that the wolves are the ones that get attacked i don't know why so this is just the um bronze age we'll move now on to the Iron Age, um, basically what we did here was bronze smelting, we got a tin mine, we've got masonry, we've got sword making, composite archery, armor, shield, brewery, netting and horse domestication. That was all in the uh, bronze age now. 
before moving to Iron Age, I want to make sure that I reach 150 population. Uh, you know, just after the Iron Age, there's nothing much more. So I just want to read a considerable amount of population and then move to Iron Age. So see you there. Hey guys, so this is the Iron Age. I have finally passed 150 population and not much to do here because you know, I've just moved on to the Iron Age. You can see I have unlocked the Iron Smelting, I've unlocked and I've unlocked the Stable Stones. You see, I have Stable Granary and I have Iron Mines, another group of houses here to access my plants and farming lands easily between the uh, gaps that need to be filled. And you can see I have extended my walls up to this side of the base because I thought I could expand my base up to here but the population is too slow to increase and it is a limiting factor right now because the thing I could get a hold of was my workload and you can see it is 144% I've managed to take it down from uh, 160 to 140 and that's good probably so what happens here if you expand the base too fast the raiders can attack from this side and this side so they basically destroy all your walls so that is something i didn't realize and now i have to recycle all these walls and i have got megaliths coming right here i have got a statue and i'm building the cairn the cairn that is important for a milestone uh, the iron settlement get 150 people which i have and build a cairn so I can build a cairn from the funerary, okay, the funerary um, that need, takes up a lot of space. I can build it here too. So it, it's kind of, it's like a hilly area here. So I build a cairn right here. So this is just the beginning of the Iron Age. Let's move on to the end of the Iron Age. So guys, as I've showed you in the first few seconds of the video that I have reached one to uh, 250 population. So here it is in basically you know it's easy once you have all the land and all the farming lands you just need to take care of your uh, transports and plows basically plows and you have to get a hold of your clothing get a hold of your food get a hold of your everything i mean your resources are the main important thing so you need people to easily access your farms so just put houses in the middle of the farms like this you see I've put groups, groups, another group here, another group here, so it basically makes them easier. And you can also put transport posts like this, so that people uh, in planning time they can easily, people can easily grab these plows and plant uh, the seeds very easily. And also you must change, you must constantly change your work areas for log and stick and stones. Not that much needed right now because I. I have the main scenery all done, I have the roundhouses all built up, I have the stables, good amount of stables, you see, one friendly space shelter, so that's good. And what I'm gonna do now is just unlock the steel making, that is the last one. Yes, I've unlocked the steel making, and if you're thinking what I'm gonna do about, if I want to increase my population, there's much more scope right on this side of the river. You see, this is another type of flat land where you could start a base. I mean, this is awesome. So I have still space for four, uh, 159 population, but this is where I'm gonna end my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to make another video on how I reached um, 400 to 500 population, basically in that video, if you want, I'll probably move on to this area let's see what happens so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and like and share